Hello, this is Francis from McCaffrey Crafts, and today I'm highlighting another uh, style of uh, stick that I actually do on my website as well, um, and this would be a, a hiking stick. Um, usually I make my hiking sticks about uh, about 54 inches in, in height, and usually this height you can be suitable for, for most, most height ranges as well, because it just depends on where you kind of grip it on, on the, the piece of wood as well. So um, this one weighs about 400 grams in weight, and what I find is that for a stick that you actually really are going to go hiking with, um, usually about three, four hundred grams is, is usually the kind of like sweet spot for, for having a hiking stick. If you kind of make it heavier than that, it's going to feel it in your wrist after a while. Like a lot of people, they do message me saying they do want to have a black thorn hiking stick. They want it to be, you know, an inch, inch and a quarter thick and a big knob at the, the top of it as well. But if I made a stick to those measurements, um, it would probably weigh over a kg in weight, like two, two and a half pounds in weight. And if you've gone, go hiking with a stick like that, after about a mile of walking, you feel it on your wrist and it will not be comfortable at all. So the key to a hiking stick is that it has to be strong and pretty straight, uh, not, not completely straight, but balanced like, but these ones are pretty good because like I've got them like very, very straight. Um, the thing is like with these particular pieces of black thorn is you have to like really, really, really leave them seasoned because like, you know, if, if there's still a little bit of like um, seasoning to go, like that will warp back pretty quickly. So you have to kind of like almost over season these. And by over season, I mean, if you're not really sure, just add on an extra year onto the seasoning process just to make sure. And, uh, you know, usually I try not to make them more than about like seven eighths of an inch thick, maybe an inch, something like that. And then they kind of taper towards the bottom to about like maybe um, three quarters of an inch or five eighths of an inch or something like that. And again, like I'm designing these sticks with the purpose of they're actually going to be in use for, for hiking. And uh, again, you don't want like a, a real kind of like heavy hiking stick. And that's kind of like one of the kind of main questions I, I get a lot. And I thought it'd be worth making a, making a video trying to explain that as well. When you want a hiking stick, you do not want a big heavy weight right at the top of the stick. Like people would say they want a shillelagh hiking stick, which is a big hiking stick like this with a big ball and looks great and takes great pictures. They look really, really cool. But trust me, um, if you actually try to use that for hiking, uh, you'll be putting it in the corner pretty fast because because it's, it will be useless at that weight. You would just feel it, no matter how big or strong a guy are, you are, um, those sticks are, are, are not really suitable for hiking. You want something like this, something that's lightweight, something that's strong, something that, that's pretty st uh, straight and balanced. And uh, you do want a little bit of flex in it as well. So like when you're going over different different terrain as well. And uh, this is the stick that, that I make at McCaffrey Crafts. This is the style of hiking stick that I like to make. And uh, it is a practical stick designed to be used. And uh, if you like it, just go to my website, McCaffreyCrafts.com. I have a whole section on hiking sticks. And most, most of them look more or less similar. Like I make them all kind of just similar enough in style. Like there might be a bit, a bit difference in weight or slight difference in, in how they look, but um, more or less they're all pretty much similar um, in how they look. But um, again, the, these sticks are designed to be used. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.